this guy's not going to do well, I don't think. Oh, the new music. What is that bottom left of the map? Uh, this will be a little building. So there's, there's ruins in the game now. And if you break into the ruin, they have various things inside. I'm not going to spoil it until we get to one, but I have played with the ruins a little bit. And there's various different odds and sods inside them. So we'll crack into it shortly. But for now, I want to avoid slime long as much as I can. You can see, I mean, look how perilous it is now in the slime biomes. And the problem with slime lung is it needs to be stored somewhere, your materials need to be uh, stored, and it keeps manifesting and growing, and yeah. Hello Justice, how's it going? Um, infected food. Oh, we've got new notifications. A germ has found its way onto one of your rations. Small numbers of germs are not a threat to your colony, as duplicate immune systems can fight off substantial infection. However, some diseases, like food poisoning, will grow quickly on food, creating a hazardous situation. Uh, badly contaminated food can be marked for compost, and further contamination can be slowed or halted by storing your food in a refrigerated or other germ-hostile environment. Ooh. Is this the dreaded disease update? It is. It is. Uh, go get it right now. Consequences be damned. Okay, should we just have this as like... Uh should we have this as one where I just fucking do everything and expand quickly and see how see how long we can last? Or should I try and be cautious and build a big big old colony that, you know, we can get to late game? What would you rather do, guys? Because I don't mind either way. I really don't. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. No! Oh, that sound! Um, be cautious and move quickly, guys. See your friend. Yeah, you, Blue Lance, you know I know this shit, buddy. Um, I do know that, but this starting walk will last me fucking ages, so I wouldn't worry. Um, okay. So, we're going to use this up here first. Uh, so, let's put. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's put you. Hmm, let's put you there. I'm going to dig out you. Um, now then, these should be fine. Let's start building some stations. I'm debating which way to expand out, because this is death on this side. Oh, they fixed this over there as well. So we can see where the germs are spreading now. So if I do a disinfect command on this, you can now see that it'll be disconnect, uh, disinfected. But it'll only be dis disinfected at a priority of five. Currently, I believe. And here's the disinfect animation. And there's the bottling animation. Uh, I should probably build some beds or something. Oh, it's nice. It's nice to have this officially. It's good. Right. Um, let's start getting a bit of power sorted. Uh, let's wipe the battery down. And let's have... Let's just put that there. How's it going? How the devil are you? Um, sorry, this is a lot for me to take in. I'm out. I'm out the uh, swinger streaming since I've been moving. Uh, and I would rather see the best way to do this before I waste my own time later. Fair enough. Uh, oh my! So many new things. 
I really wish sand poured like a liquid instead of blocking paths when it falls on stuff. Yeah. It would be nice. If it felt like an egg timer. Okay. I want to see a little bit of what's down here. Now, if you look, these the germs are steadily increasing on this slime. Nine, nine, eight, nine, 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 and we'll hit a million in a sec. And then it drops down. Long time not seen, so what's new? Well, yeah, the update's literally just landed, Verdian, so quite a bit, to be honest, bud. There's a lot of changes in this one. Many germs. Many germs. This is all about the germs. There's been a lot of quality of life changes as well. There's been lots of little mini fixes, but we'll get to them as and when we, we show them, really, I suppose. But it's been optimised quite a bit as well. So I will say on one of the, not the last test build, the one before, I did get a colony to like cycle 450 odd. And it was pretty smooth. Just There wasn't much mechanical on there. I didn't have loads of like gas piping and stuff. But it was still a lot smoother than it's been historically. So it was nice. It was good to see. No, the funky new music as well. I'm wondering which way to head out. I may just have to go north, you know. Go through this biome and see what's up here. Because what I'm going to want is bleach. Bleach stone and chlorine. They are two very handy commodities now, so. Uh, let's just drop this down a little bit. Let's get this finished. I feel like a noob again. This is this is exhilarating. Jesus. When you build the science station. Those floating lights are cool. Yeah, these little shine bugs. I've noticed they've always got five of a hundred on their health. So they're very low health, they die very easily. They weigh 50 kilos, apparently. And their melting point is 9,700 degrees. I wonder if the dupe's melting point is still the same. <clears throat> yeah, so, same. Interesting. Alright. So we'll let them dig out with that. We'll just get a bit of vision down this way. And then we'll decide if we're going to keep going north. Those are some heavy bugs. Don't want those land on you. No. 50 kilos of mosquito would be a bit much. Okay, I've got a bit of hydrogen over here again. So I think this is going to be an igneous biome all around here. Which is fine. I'm going to avoid slime until we definitely need it. We've got plenty of algae. Um, Gas-wise, we're still using our oxalite, but I can deal with that in a minute. And you can see how much longer the research takes now. So it really, if I get the research done by cycle 40 or cycle 30, 40, that'll be pretty pretty fair. Um, I need to make a few compactors and get my algae and stuff stored from down here. Uh, research takes a lot longer. Which is a good thing, because before it was like, you do all your research in... 11 cycles and that would be it done. It's a bit bit lame. 
did they change the colour of CO two and the gas overlay? Um, no carbon dioxide. It's still breathable and not breathable. Um, they've still kept it as that. Um, I think all the overlays are pretty similar. I still don't really like this thermal comfort overlay. I think it's the most pointless thing in the game. Uh, it's very pretty. I love the blues and I love the colours they use for it. But it's I never use it. Uh, light overlays remain the same. Uh, the gas overlays had had some changes. I'll show you that when we start building some pumps and stuff. Uh, gas piping and packets within pipes look a bit different than liquid pipes as well. But we'll show you that when we get to that point. Uh, let's get this to be a six as well. I've got a puff down here. Now, puffs were emitting slime lung. I don't know if that's still the case because I've not been able to catch up on the forums today. I'll have a look. But you can see how quickly the slime lung spreads. It gets very large, very quick. And you can see this here. That's actually decreasing at the minute. See parts of packets move now, right? Uh, you could, but I'm not sure if they if they remove that nerve ridge. We'll see when we build it. Um, it was causing some problems, if I remember rightly. So they may well have, have got rid of that. But we'll have a look. So diseases kill now. Yes, they do. And also. Um, Dupes don't get incapacitated when their calories reach zero now. They die instantly. Oh yeah. So colonies can die very quickly. So one of the reasons I want to get this dug out is so we can sort out our um, oxygen and stuff. And also you've got new containers now for gases. So you can get different containers, um, visually different. So carbon dioxide is like a black one and you get different pots that have to be emptied. And they have to be emptied manually. You can't just empty them like you used to be able to, like when wheeze warts drop them. So a dupe will have to come over and physically release that now. Uh, which disease are faithful? Uh, uh, fatal. Slime lung. Slime lung kills in 10 cycles, I think, unless it's been changed. <clears throat> uh, right. Uh, we're going to need a cook. But we don't really want one that's constantly getting sick, for fuck's sake. These are all terrible. Uh, let's get that done. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a lot of little tweaks to um, the colour palettes as well, Max, yeah. Okay, oh, there's also on the containers now, you can specify how much you want to fill each container. The reason for that is the medical cots now require a food source nearby. Technically, they require a food source nearby. Um, but yeah, you can specify, same with refrigerators, you can specify how much you want to go into a container, uh, which is nice. Um... What else changed? Oh, the medical cots also. Uh, we'll just build one quickly. Uh, I'll build one just to show you. Yeah. Uh, organic algae seven and four metal seven. And that's about all I want to pick up. Maybe some sand. And that can be. And there. I'm just letting clear all this stuff up. Uh, what are those things with the arrows? Oh, these are wash basins. 